my name is Abbott. I'm an artist living in Portland, Maine. You can check out my work at abbott.com. I'm going to show you how to draw a mummy tomb mask. So you're going to start out by drawing an eye, the lower eyelid and a top eyelid. And you're going to draw another eye about an eye's distance apart from that one. And a little ways down from that, you're going to draw two holes for nostrils. This is going to be sort of a mixture between a face and a skull. So you're going to try to make the cheek cheekbones really pronounced and the face is going to be kind of hollowed out and the jaw should be really defined. And you don't even want to put an ear, maybe just like a hole for the ear. Because this is kind of a decomposing face. Um, I'm going to give this irises. But to make the eyes, I always think snake eyes look kind of creepy for Halloween-y or mask type stuff. And around the eyes, you're just going to kind of scribble in some dark shading to make it look like the eyes are deep set in the face. And below the other cheekbone, you can do some scribble shading. And I'm going to just start drawing teeth without even adding any lips to make kind of a gruesome smile on the face. Or maybe more of a grimace than a smile. And you can draw some teeth for the bottom set of teeth. Connect those at the side to make a creepy mouth. And then you can draw a bandage coming across the face, like a mummy that's kind of coming unraveled. And draw a bandage over the top of the head, or a series of bandages kind of crisscrossing. So just sort of these interlocking lines. Give it that wrapped up look of a mummy. And you can even leave some of these bandages kind of loose, like coming off the side of the face. And I would have them continue wrapping around the neck and maybe have a few unraveling at the bottom. My name is Abbott and I just showed you how to draw a mummy tomb mask.